My name is Anna Marie Strylime, Director of Preclinical Education, and this is an overview of the preclinical year at the Duke Physician Assistant Program. This is an overview of our educational philosophy. We are well aware that the physician assistant profession began at Duke, and ours is the oldest program in the country. Although we are proud of that heritage, we continue to take our responsibility as leaders in the profession very seriously, and we don't rest on our laurels. This program has continuously evolved to stay strong and effective at educating PAs. Our primary goal is to prepare each student to be a professional clinical PA practicing in primary care. We believe this is the most comprehensive preparation we can provide and makes our graduates capable of practicing in any clinical setting. Some choose specialty practice over primary care. Many switch practice over the course of their careers. We are a competency-based curriculum, which means that before a student completes the program, we feel confident that they are ready to practice medicine and the student feels competent as well. We expect each student to attend all educational sessions. This is the best way for each student to benefit from the rich clinical and life experience that their classmates bring to the classroom. We encourage students to share these unique perspectives. We discourage competition as we want every student to be successful. The Blue Cross Blue Shield building is the current home of the PA program. We renovated this historic facility to meet the needs of our students and have been in this building since 2009. The land on which this building sits is part of established Durham history. The home of Eugene Moorhead sat here in the late 1800s. He was the son of John Motley Moorhead, governor of North Carolina from 1841 to 1845. In 1961, his house was demolished to make way for the hospital care building, which later became Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina. The PA program faculty is one of our greatest assets. The faculty is made up of certified clinicians in active clinical practice. We bring a wealth of clinical and academic experience to the program. We are active participants in a number of professional organizations at the institutional, local, regional, and national level, and many of us hold leadership roles in those organizations. PA program faculty members have a long history of leadership and service to the PA profession, including with the Physician Assistant Education Association, the North Carolina Academy of Physician Assistants, and with numerous PA specialty organizations. Most of the faculty are active clinicians, which enriches our curriculum delivery. As we are part of an academic medical center, we are also able to call on a range of medical professionals from Duke Medical Center to provide instruction in their areas of content expertise in a number of our preclinical year courses. This is a simplified overview of the cur current preclinical year curriculum, which begins in early August and runs through June, showing the fall, spring, and summer terms. I will discuss each of the courses later in this presentation. The role of the preclinical or first year of the program is to prepare our students for the second or clinical year of the program. Our educational approach builds upon students' prerequisite coursework and clinical experiences. It is based on the solid foundation of a clear understanding of basic medical and clinical concepts, a strong fund of medical knowledge, and the development of essential critical thinking skills. We provide course content that is based on sound medical evidence, and we integrate the content across some of our core courses. We provide a number of learning opportunities intended to help students put it all together, including traditional lectures, required readings, individual assignments, small group discussions, and the use of trained actors who portray patients so students can practice their history taking and physical exam skills before practicing on real patients. In addition, there are a number of laboratory and simulation settings to provide hands-on learning. Admitted students start getting communications from the program many months before matriculation. These include information about required textbooks, medical equipment, and fall course registration. In addition, there is a medical terminology assignment and summer reading that we ask students to complete in preparation for beginning coursework. The program begins with a welcome session, including greetings from Duke University Medical Center and the Department of Community and Family Medicine. Leadership in those areas are represented. This is followed by introductions of PA program faculty and staff members and of each new student. 
the welcome session is followed by a multi-day technology orientation. During the technology orientation, students receive their computer hardware and are trained to use the software used in the PA program. The program provides the technological resources, including hardware, software, applications, and training, so you can make the most of your short time as a PA student. At the beginning of the program, each student receives a laptop computer, which has typically been window-based, and an electronic tablet. We recommend you wait to find out where you will be attending PA school before you purchase any new computers or mobile devices, except a cell phone. Do not purchase these items if you are coming to Duke, as we will provide them. We are transitioning to an integrated electronic textbook platform for most of our required textbooks. The cost of this is included in your technology fee. A few of the required textbooks are not available through this platform and must be purchased separately. Course-related documents and resources are posted to Sakai, our current learning management system for student access. Students typically use their laptops to take lecture notes in our primary PA classroom, which is fully outfitted with video and audio. We also have digital displays in our small group rooms. In addition, students have access to on-site printers. Most examinations and all course evaluations are deployed electronically. We are able to record students' interactions with standardized patients in our Clinical Performance Exam, or CPX, spaces on-site, so students can review and improve their physical diagnosis and history-taking skills in a safe environment. In our on-site Custom Diagnostic Methods Laboratory, students practice performance of point-of-care laboratory tests and office procedures. We also have a number of trainer simulators for practice of clinical skills at the PA program. Students use the Duke Simulation Lab on the main medical campus to practice surgical skills. In addition to the technology orientation, the program moves forward with some non-academic activities, including orientations to the Duke and Durham communities, the PA program, and a more extensive overview of the preclinical year than what I am providing today. Second year students answer questions about what it is like for them to be first year students. We hold an intimate white coat ceremony in which each student's faculty advisor helps them don their white coat for the first time, signifying the beginning of their formal preparation for the PA profession. We end the week with a welcome picnic. This is open to all first and second year students, their friends and families, and all staff and faculty members. Classes begin the following week of the program, but orientation-related sessions about other student resources also continue. Some of these are related to study strategies, promoting a culture of excellence in diversity and inclusion, and an introduction to university-based resources. These are images of students getting to know each other, the campus, and locating important resources on their campus exploration during orientation. The fall semester begins with foundational courses in basic medical sciences, physiology, and anatomy. Our students perform cadaver dissection at the state-of-the-art anatomy lab at the medical center. We have cadavers dedicated for use by PA students with a ratio of four to five students per cadaver. In the patient assessment and counseling one course, students learn how to appropriately interact with patients, the current techniques for a comprehensive history and physical exam, and how to properly document their findings for the medical record. In Evidence-Based Practice 1, students learn how to read and critically evaluate the medical literature so they can appropriately apply that information in the care of their patients. The Clinical Medicine, Diagnostic Methods, and Pharmacology courses are integrated for each medical discipline, organized by body system. For example, during the Cardiology unit of the Clinical Medicine course, Students study the risk factors, etiology, symptoms, and physical exam findings for conditions such as heart failure. At the same time, students learn the appropriate lab tests or imaging studies to diagnose and monitor that condition in the diagnostic methods course and the appropriate medications to treat heart failure in the pharmacology course. So in the fall, the hematology, cardiology, and orthopedics units are presented concurrently in these three courses. This is an image of one of the weekly physical diagnosis sessions in the Patient Assessment and Counseling 1 course. A faculty member is pictured teaching a small group of students in one of four physical diagnosis rooms. 
Each includes a central conference table and six clinical exam tables. Students learn the proper techniques for performing a comprehensive physical exam by practicing on their classmates. In this picture, you can see the original Duke Hospital, Midview Brick Building, as well as the top of Duke Chapel in the background. There are many more clinics off-site. The preclinical year anatomy lab occurs in this space. After the end of the fall semester, we have a program break for several weeks. During this time, we encourage students to rest, recharge their batteries, and spend time with family and friends. Classes restart during the first week in January. The integrated units of clinical medicine, diagnostic methods, and pharmacology resume in the spring semester with, with coverage of the units listed on this slide. There are periodic synthesis sessions that help hone students' critical thinking skills, appropriately use diagnostic tests, and develop a differential diagnosis and treatment plan. In our on-site custom diagnostic methods laboratory, students practice performance of point-of-care laboratory tests and office procedures. In addition, PAC-2, Patient Assessment and Counseling, continues and students begin taking histories and performing exams on hospitalized patients under the direction of a PA. Students also learn to make oral presentations and document their patient encounters. The Introduction to Prevention and Population Health course introduces public health concepts related to maximizing health at the population level. In the surgery course, students learn about surgical instrumentation and maintaining a sterile field, how to perform laceration repair and other office procedures such as bandaging and casting, pre- and post-operative patient care, and how to function as a first assistant in the operating room. In the Practice in the Health System course, students learn about the U.S. healthcare system, the framework within which PAs function as medical providers, including recent reforms and payment mechanisms, public health, and healthcare economics. They also learn about the history of the PA profession, legislation related to PA practice, PA professional organizations, certification, licensing and credentialing, and about other professions with which PAs team to provide comprehensive patient care. There are multiple opportunities for hands-on learning. These are images of students learning heart and lung sounds with one of our on-site Harvey cardiopulmonary simulators, practicing suturing on pig's feet, an image of the anatomy dissection space, and of the fresh tissue laboratory. The summer term has only four courses, which are all continuations from fall and spring courses. The summer units of clinical medicine, diagnostic methods, and pharmacology are listed here. Patient Assessment and Counseling 3 includes behavioral medicine topics, patient education and counseling techniques, and dovetails with the psychiatry unit. The annual American Association of Physician Assistants Conference occurs during the summer term. We suspend classes so interested students can travel to the conference, attend educational sessions, network with practicing clinicians and PA students from other programs, and participate in student association activities, including the Medical Challenge Bowl. The program provides some financial support for students who attend. The amount depends on the number of students who choose to attend. Generally, the majority of the class will attend the conference each year. Some students choose to take a break to spend time with family or friends instead of attending. These are images of the medical library. Most students access these resources electronically. In addition, we are very fortunate to have a dedicated medical library liaison who supports our PA students' research needs. We recognize that the pace and rigor of PA school is challenging, and we want to provide the support needed to help our students not only survive, but to thrive here at Duke. Each student has a faculty advisor who follows them throughout the program to provide support in routine, scheduled, and as-needed meetings during the during both the preclinical and clinical years of the program. The faculty advisors provide academic oversight and assist with CV review, licensure, and employment references in preparation for student transition to employment as a PA. In addition, our second year student mentor program involves rising second year students adopting an incoming student for a peer mentoring relationship. These mentoring relationships start prior to matriculation and continue as student needs evolve. Other resources for student support include access to educational specialists, the Duke Student Wellness Center, 
and counseling and psychological services. We want to make sure you realize that being a Duke PA student is not just about learning medicine in the classroom, lab, hospital, or clinic. Our students have a strong record of volunteerism and community involvement while they are in the PA program. We enthusiastically support these student-led activities. Students have many opportunities for leadership and community service through the STED Society, our Duke PA student governing body, as well as in interdisciplinary teams with students from other health profession programs at Duke. For example, these are images of recent classes participating in a class-sponsored blood drive for the American Red Cross, teaching hygiene to fourth graders at the Burton Elementary School, and having their heads shaved to raise money for pediatric cancer research with the St. Baldrigs Foundation. We hope this presentation provided an informative and useful overview of the preclinical year of the Duke Physician Assistant Program.